How many hearts does an octopus have? Can things even have more than one heart? Start by putting your guess in the comments. One, 10, 100, let me know what you think. Octopi are cephalopods, a group of animals that also includes familiar things like squid, but some animals that might be unfamiliar, like nautiluses and cuttlefish. The name cephalopod comes from the Greek for head feet, because they travel head first through the water. I guess in this system, humans would be called a face butt. Octopi and other cephalopods are unique among their invertebrate cousins, the mollusks, in that they have a closed circulatory system. This means that octopus blood travels around their body in a closed loop contained in blood vessels. Humans also have a closed circulatory system. The heart is what pumps blood through these vessels, collecting oxygen from the lungs or gills and delivering it to your body where it's needed. The other option for an animal to have is called an open circulatory system, which is much simpler. Blood basically sloshes around inside the animal between the internal organs, where it delivers nutrients and sometimes oxygen. Because it's more efficient, a closed circulatory system has allowed octopi to develop much more efficient muscle tissues, making them faster and far more mobile than their cousins, the mollusks, which includes animals that are literally the definition of being slow, like snails and slugs. Okay, a side note about octopus blood, which is totally different and weird. Human blood uses a protein called hemoglobin to carry oxygen. Hemoglobin contains iron, which gives our blood its rusty red color. Octopus blood, on the other hand, uses a different protein called hemocyanin, literally meaning bluish-green blood, which contains copper instead. Now this copper is what gives octopus blood its characteristic blue-green color. Humans and other mammals have one heart. One side of the heart pumps blood to the lungs, where it picks up oxygen and drops off carbon dioxide. The other half pumps blood to the body, where the oxygen is used and exchanged for carbon dioxide. The human heart sits in the middle of a figure eight between the lungs and the body. Octopi are different in that instead of having lungs, they have gills, which pick up dissolved oxygen from water. They're also different because instead of having one heart with two sides, they've broken this task up into more than one heart. There are two hearts called branchial hearts that pump blood to the gills, and one heart called a systemic heart that pumps blood to the body. So how many hearts does an octopus have? Three. Two to pump blood to the gills where it picks up oxygen, and one to pump blood to the body to deliver that oxygen where it's needed. They also have blue blood. Now if only someone could teach them how to love with all those hearts. Thanks for watching everyone. Did you learn something new? Hit the like button and let me know in the comments. And if you'd like more from the channel, be sure to hit subscribe and get all the updates. Until next time, stay curious, and don't forget to have a heart.